I'm here today to, to talk about how every tragedy and every challenge that we face in life is also an opportunity. Uh, you go back to July 22nd, 2010, I had just lost both legs above the knee. And you fast forward seven years from that, and I'm in Washington, D.C., running the last mile of my 31st consecutive marathon. And since we were running around the reflecting pool, I figured it would be a good time to kind of reflect on, you know, how I was able to, to get to this point in my life, you know, going from almost dead, clinging to life, to, you know, living more than, you know, I ever thought I probably would. Uh, it all started when I joined the Marine Corps in boot camp in 2006. I was a combat engineer. And the main job of a combat engineer was to breach or get around obstacles. Uh, so on July 22nd, 2010, we were doing a push in Taliban territory. And sadly that day, my luck ran out and I stepped on an IED that functioned. And that resulted in double above knee amputations. And I had to start asking myself some questions. I asked myself, is this fair? Well, I decided it wasn't fair. I asked myself, did I deserve this? And the answer again was no. But then I, had, I said, um, does either of that really matter? And again, the answer was no. Because my mission for my life was no different than it was before. A few issues in the veteran community uh, starting to come up at that time that I didn't, I didn't really like. So, uh, you know, veterans were coming home and feeling isolated. Veterans are coming home and feeling unappreciated. Um, and then, you know, sometimes that resulted in veterans killing themselves. And, you know, there was a lot of people out there saying, well, we need to help veterans. Somebody needs to help veterans. And so I decided I was going to be the one to help veterans. I asked myself, why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I be the one? And so that's when I created what I call Rob Jones Journey. And the reason I started it was because there's 45,000 veteran service organizations out there that are all charities. And they are helping veterans in one way, but the way that I didn't see them doing all that much was helping veterans help themselves. Say I'm you know, bench pressing 5,000 pounds and I can't get my last one and I have a spotter. What does the spotter do? Do they just lift it up off for you? Now, what do they do? They stick that with one finger. They just stick the one finger out of the two fingers and they go like that and they go, all you bro, all you bro, all you bro, until you get it up. We didn't need people doing everything for them and lifting that bar off for them. We needed just somebody to give them just a little bit of, a little bit of help and let them do it themselves. And so that's why I did the, the bike ride. That's why I did the month of marathons. And so if we go back to November 11th, 2017, I'm finishing up that last mile and I crossed the line, I kissed my wife, and immediately the reporters say, uh, congratulations, what's next? I didn't have an answer for him at the time. I, I probably should have thought about it. I can guarantee, I, I don't know what exactly is next, but I can guarantee I'm gonna continue to fight for veterans and I'm gonna continue to lead in my community. And uh, thanks for listening.